Good morning, folks. Dill Digger here. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, 20 July 2016. Thought I'd do a video before I head out to Ocean Beach and do a little detecting. So my weapon of choice is the Gear AT Pro. I run it in Pro Zero, the iron discrimination at 33. That is for dry sand and wet sand. Yes, I know I need a better scoop. So clad this year, got almost 116, oh, $117 basically, and I got another $30, $40 I need to clean up and cash in. Doing pretty good on clad this year, can't complain. Got a whole bunch of sunglasses, one fancy pair of Ray-Bans of course, I wear them all the time. The usual cars, keys, and 17 pounds of fishing weights. All of my cheap little bling bling so far this year. Nice little locket, but no mint mark. Found a lot of pairs this, this year. Normally I find only single earrings. I don't know what it is. Guess I'm having good luck. All four of these I found at Dog Beach right next to uh, one of the lifeguard towers kind of cool. You don't normally find four in one hole. whole bunch of cool marbles and if anybody has any idea what these little orange balls are let me know. It looks like they have like graphite inside them. I don't even know what they are but I count them as marbles. Oh apparently neighbors are lighting up fireworks. Got a whole bunch of dog tags, cool little pins. I don't know if anybody knows Russian, but if you can let me know what this means, please message me. It's kind of cool, but I don't know. It gives me a weird tone, and it has a 22K, but I don't think it's gold. Big old set of bling bling disco balls. Nice, beautiful religious pendant, but it's a junker. Got three knives this year. One's toasted, one's a throwing knife, but I believe it'll clean up stainless. This cool little 44 Magnum little knife. Found it exactly like this, sticking in the sand. Two old lipsticks and a toe tap. And then these cool things. Now I thought these were little like tube shell type things. I don't know. Something you see on like National Geographic. Like deep abyss tube worms or something. If you look inside, they're actually pretty blackened. So I'm wondering if these are like old pipe bowls or something along those lines. Got no idea. Surface find, I think it's a pig's tusk. It's kind of cool. Might turn into a necklace. And these two little things, pretty sure it's bag seals. If you look at this one on both sides, like right there and then the other side, almost looks like there's a string going through it. There's no markings on either side. But this one has two ends, and then to the left is a very small M. No idea, I need to do some research on those. Whole bunch of squished pennies. Actually got two camels. Kind of cool. Plastic coins. And I find them right at the shore break. Might as well keep them. An AA token. One, mar one month. Hopefully uh, that person's doing well. Got three Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Always fun to be a kid. One bathroom token from Indianapolis, Illinois. That was a cool find. Actually found it near a restroom. That doesn't even take tokens. A very old, crusty, for amusement only, no cash value token. Found it uh, over, I believe it's Bonita Cove by Belmont Park. Wonder if that had anything to do with that. Whole bunch of Mexican pesos and a whole 
lot of euros. I have a couple euro cents, but I can't find them. I don't know where they went. My first for this year, and with my new Garrett, my first half dollar, it's 1971 Kennedy. Gave me a beautiful 92 for some reason, but this thing was about 12 inches deep over at Spanish Landing. First dollar coin, too bad it's now Morgan, but it's an Andrew Jackson, little presidential coin. All my wheat pennies so far, nice little 55, 57, 58, one that's completely toasted. Uh, this side you can kind of see a wreath. This side looks a little better, but I mean, this thing was toasted. Nice 1909, but there's no little fancy marking at the bottom. Just plain old 1909. My first two silvers I actually found the same day in Ocean Beach over on the left side of the pier, in between the rock grooves. Got a 1943. Uh, I don't believe there's a mint mark on that one. Or actually there is. Yeah, it's completely toasted though. But this one, this is the heartbreaker right now. I don't know if you can look and see. 1916. But it's so toasted. You can't, I tried looking at the mint mark. I can't tell if it's D and S or if it's just erosion. I can't tell. Or corrosion. It's a heartbreaker, but you know what? Still silver. It's a good day. Got this little bead, which I believe is silver. Gives me a very nice high tone. It has a nice little like weld mark right there. It was pinched together. Looks like junk, but I don't know. It's got some good weight to it. Maybe it was like a part of a pendant or something. I don't know. Same with this buckle mystery item it's black i've tried cleaning it up and that's as shiny as that gets another high tone so maybe it is silver i'm not sure if it's a belt or maybe it could be horse tack no idea doing pretty good with rings this year um up to 26 i've given a lot away i've returned a lot as well um let me get that out of the way. That's for a different story. So far, I got three toe rings, a whole bunch of little junkers here and there. This big old surface find, all I saw was that much sticking out of a big pile of kelp. And I'm kind of glad I went through it. Normally, I don't dig through the kelp. Big old fancy ring. This is a little heartbreaker. Another surface find over at Ocean Beach. Saw it sticking out like that with all the stones just shining right in my face. Nope. As soon as you get a magnet within a foot of this thing, it sucks it right up. An old junker. Nice little religious ring. I believe it's Timothy 412. Cool ring. I'm not sure if it's silver or not, but I'll hold on to it. Found this one way out on a super low tide at Ocean Beach. I don't know if it's gold or not. I've, I don't know. I keep looking at it and one day I say yes, one day I say no. I need to go get it tested. Maybe it's just sandblasted or something. I don't know. But the stones in there, they're real. So it's either turquoise or howlite. Got two titanium rings and one tungsten. All three of them have engravings on them. Still waiting on a return on Craigslist. Still a nice little find. Any day you find a ring in the scoop's a good day. Now to fancy precious metals. This little ring. One of the first rings I found at a beach. It's a palladium ring. It's kind of cool, but the stones are all jack they're crystal they gotta be they're fake and they're falling out still a palladium the other other precious metal my favorite in my first ring of the year is this awesome lion ring this thing was 18 inches deep 
easy and wet sand and it was green blue purple every nasty color I cleaned it up and believe it or not it's marked 800 but I'm pretty sure it's not platinum or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's just continental silver but you know what I'm gonna leave it like this I'm not even gonna shine it, it looks cool just like that one of my most recent finds is this little pendant or charm can't really look at the mint mark, but it says 585, which I'm pretty sure means it's 14 karat. It's got the weight, but I don't know. It gives me a high tone for some reason. So maybe it's some knockoff or I don't know. I got to get it tested. My second gold ring of the year is this nice 18 karat little band, little star, but missing a stone but you know what any day you find gold that's a great day hopefully there's many more to come now a lot of people get into hobbies for fun for sport to make money me I do it for the fun but at the same time I'm thinking about the future and investing so I found two pretty engagement rings so far one was a platinum uh, I believe it was three quarters of a carat and another gold engagement ring which was half a carat both of which I post on Craigslist for multiple weeks I even put them on uh, I believe it's one of those apps called OfferUp and nobody responded so I waited a couple weeks a couple months actually and I went to my little store I go to and I traded them in for a the little gold ring got a whole bunch of half dollars. I mean, there's Walking Liberties in there. I believe there's a couple Morgans as well and a couple Mercs. But I also traded it in for this awesome little bullion bar. That was just with the gold ring, put it into perspective. Now the platinum ring, that was where the big money was. A whole bunch of Merc Dimes. More, I think these are all Walking Liberties and two Morgan Silvers. But yeah, that's my goal. My goal is to fill up this little treasure box full of silver coins and jewelry and all types of little knickknacks for my little kiddo. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to like and comment. And maybe even subscribe if you want. As always, happy hunting.